Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday to you all. It's such a great day today. The sun is shining. My craft room is lit up. I have a lot of uh, cleaning I need to do, but I wanted to come on and do these because I was watching uh, videos downstairs and Cheryl Guerrero, who I adore, who is a crafter here on YouTube, just did her empties. And I said, you know what? I got this bucket of stuff that I have used up, which I'm so happy and proud of myself. I want to get it off my desk so that I can begin. What I'm doing now is getting rid of stuff as I use it. So let's just go really quick. Um, I don't know what frame this is. It may go back to Christmas. It may go back to um, Valentine's Day. But nonetheless, the bucket has got to be emptied out. So here we go. These cards I made. So I am finally got rid of this card kit. I used them all up. I did want to just show you. I thought I would keep it used as an example to make other cards, but I'm not going to do that. It's empty. It's gone. Let's see. I used up three, four ribbons. This looks like it was Valentine's Day, and these look like they were Easter when I made all of those Easter baskets for my friends. So that was a good thing. This had something in it, clips, I believe, like the um, clips like this, and they may have been gold. And I thought about keeping this little case, but I'm not going to do that either. Um, this had, this is flea market, it had tassels on it. And actually, yeah, actually the tassels are right here. I'm going to be using them up with my remaining projects that I'm making. So um, they're from um, Hobby Lobby. I'm going to get rid of that packaging. Uh, this was a nine-piece crafter square stickers. I don't recall. Pop-up stickers. They probably were something maybe related to Easter. We'll go ahead and get rid of that. Here is a Valentine's box. I made the last two of these boxes here. And this was the bunny stickers that I used to make my Easter projects with. Sweet Talk Puppy stickers. Again, used probably for the Easter. Valentine Heart stickers. All gone. Uh, dimensional stickers. Crafting stickers. What that, that that doesn't help me. I wrote that there and it means nothing to me. Crafting stickers. <laughs> means nothing, but it's gone. This was um alphabets that I used to make the two birthday cards. So that one is gone. These were balloon stickers that I used to make the birthday cards. I still haven't gifted them out yet. These were Valentine's Day embellishments. Let's get you in the bag. These were Happy Heart Puffy stickers. Again, we're going back to Valentine's Day, which is good. And here is a paper pad that I got rid of the sweethearts day here are some press leaves that i use i believe these were for uh, easter and then felt stickers not sure what i use those on oh there's a bunny rabbit so it was for easter some small paper bags that i probably altered I know what these two, these were uh, handmade by, handmade just for you that I used on um, either cards. Oh no, my crocheted washcloths that I gave away for Easter. So, wow, I gave away a lot. Um, and here's another one. Speaking of crochet, I made a blanket using this velvet uh, yarn. I had several spools of it. So, and I'm getting ready to take the blanket over to the storage because it is so heavy. It was with velvet. Put it away for the uh, end of the year. Here is another uh, color that I had used to go with that blanket. Here is um, 
some yarn for the um, crochet uh, washcloths that I did. Dishcloths, washcloths. Okay, get rid of those. I have no idea what was in there, but it's gone. Oh, that's acetate. Same thing here. And sometimes, you know me, I'm notorious for taking things out of my packaging and not putting it back in. So that's probably where these bags belong. Um, here is a candy treat box that I used and altered and decorated with some goodies for someone. Uh, these Valentine's stickers are gone. They were such a pain in the behind. They stuck on to each other. Drove me crazy. Um, here is some cello wrap. That I cellophane wrap that I wrapped up the Easter baskets in that I got rid of. I had I remember buying that um, on clearance and had it in the corner. I'm glad I used it. Some Easter egg foil stickers from Hobby Lobby, and this is some twine stick stretchy cord. I did a project to help my daughter for uh, her job. Her boss was retiring, and they wanted. Um, these um, circles on this twine hanging in front of the door when you walked in you'd have to like move it out the way so I used up all that twine for that two spools of double-sided tape another crochet yarn well actually several so glad so glad I did that project and got rid of that so let's put this in here Almost to the end, this was the jewelry shop, the hotel keychains that I made, the, the um, what do they call them, the blanks, and I decorated them, and they're in my um, bag to get ready to distribute, some more acetate, and then mini clips, and then that completes the bucket. So I'm so happy, I love doing this, it makes me feel like I have achieved something, I have use some things in my stash and I'm just on my next uh, bout of it. So if I start here in April, May, June, maybe take it to the June beginning of July. And um, I encourage you to do this. Go ahead and check out Cheryl's channel. She just posted it up. Her and Rachel Talman do a, a collaboration of empties. And um, it's just fun to watch. And it's, again, you get addicted and you start to really pay attention to what you're using in your craft room, what you're not using, what you need to start using. So you guys have a great afternoon. It's Saturday. Enjoy yourselves until my next video. Bye for now.